Hi, in this problem you are going to find the equation of the circle. We're told that the center is 7, negative 3, and we're also told it's tangent to the x-axis. So to find the equation of a circle, we need two things. We need the center and we need the radius. So solution. So we already have the center, we just need the radius. So to find the radius, what we're going to do in this problem is draw a quick picture. So I'm going to use my ruler here to draw a rough sketch of the xy plane. So here's the y-axis, and then here is going to be the x-axis. Okay, so this is x, this is y. Very nice. And the center is seven, negative three, so that's gonna be maybe, so let's say this is seven, and say this is negative three. So this will be the center of the circle here. This is negative three, and this is seven. Just a rough sketch. And we're told it's tangent to the x-axis. So tangent means just touches. So that means it's just, it's just going to touch the x-axis. It's just gonna to touch it right there. So this distance is the radius, right? It just touches it there, and this distance is three. Therefore, the radius of the circle is three from the picture. So now we have the radius, we were given the center, so now we can use the equation of a circle. Recall that the equation of a circle is given by the following formula. It's parentheses x minus h squared plus parentheses y minus k squared equals r squared. All right, so now we just plug everything in. This is your h and this is your k. So this will be parentheses x minus seven squared plus parentheses y, and then it's minus a negative, I guess I'll show the work, minus negative squared equals r squared. Okay, so this is x minus seven squared plus y plus three squared equals nine. And so that would be the equation of the circle with center seven negative three, that is tangent to the x-axis. I hope this video has helped someone, good luck.